Hello, um, I just want to talk about the fact um, that once when I was joining in uh, a Green Party meeting through Zoom, um, there was raised a concern because I wanted to talk about Ayn Rand's um, book, um, Anthem. Um, which I thought was a worry um, because it may be in the future, I hope this is not the case, that it may be established in the future even, and I hope this is not the case, that only very rich people can afford to have children and everybody else might be stereotyped into not only single sex categories um but potentially monk like celibacy also um in places Ayn Rand worried underground um without people accepting for instance that even the electric light had once been not only invented but common and um a civilizing it it does the electric light definitely does have a civilizing effect um i wouldn't want to be underground with no lighting apart from candles and torches i myself do worry sometimes that our affinity with the natural world might have, and the imagination also, and the unfortunately, um, the imagination can bring with it worries that fortunately have been chased away by the electric light. But um, to some extent, it's nice to feel in tune with nature and some of the ordinary natural thoughts and uh, feelings of human beings have maybe been chased away too much by electric lights and computers, which partly have also the electric light enabled people to work through the night and um, established for many people in many countries the 24 hours business world and the 24 hour day. Um, for some, it meant that they weren't getting necessarily enough sleep and weren't able to react as one ordinarily would to the fact that it was getting dark outside and so one had to calm down and settle down and accept less activity than one would during the day. Um, I myself developed a special problem to do with that slightly because I've been given, uh, it's been enforced on me, high levels of medicine with prolaxin in it and once I was even told that my pituitary gland was had been made a risk from that. And apparently the pituitary gland is partly what governs the um, someone's ability to go to sleep at night and to awake during the day. If you mix up, people apparently can be attuned into it if they work a lot of night shifts or whatever they can um become so that um their brains change partly in response to their working patterns um but usually for people like the difference between winter behavior and summer behavior in in the uk normally there would be a difference between nighttime activity and daytime activity.
Um, but Ayn Rand, where the Green Party were worried initially because they thought that because I was vaguely interested in Ayn Rand and particularly in the worry that she had in Anthem, um, which was partly a worry that the world might becoming become have or already have become so complicated because of the various um, inventions which do need legislation governing them, some of them, um, and even international agreements like all the nuclear um, bomb stuff. Um, she was sort of pointing out that in a way, once something has been invented and the invention, if it... It might have been done for altruistic purposes. The inventions might be altruistic in some, some, some to some extent, and to some extent, definitely, one would think and hope that medicine has been altruistic. But sometimes, in some circumstances, some of the inventions might have been hostile inventions meant to impose hostile circumstances on other people and um, once something is known about there's always a chance that it might not be forgotten. Now a lot of people are worried that in to some extent Google has taken away their ability to um, keep their memories going. Um, people look up information on Google, um, renewed information and up-to-date information, um, but sometimes they may find that they are therefore so reliant on looking up the latest information that they've forgotten some of the good things um, some of our education has obviously been faulty to some extent or may be seen to be at some times and sometimes some other times it might seem as though it was a great education um, and we have much to be grateful for which is why we wouldn't want to necessarily just drift into a world that might be completely apocalyptic without the chance that our governments can keep a hold on the situation and make sure that some of the companies who may be busy inventing and experimenting, um, that there's some sort of legi legislation to prevent them causing harm on their own populations and so on.